Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode on Spitznagel's book, Safe Haven. I figured out where my mistake was in the uh, 11th episode on how he calculated the geometric average of the insurance bet because Mr. Andrew Grant sent a very detailed explanation of how I should be calculating it. And it turns out that one big mistake that I was making was interpreting what he said, what Spitznagel says when he wrote, when he writes the contract, the contract pays out 500% of your premium when a one turns up. And that is on page 88. So I thought that when a contract pays out 500%, what that means is you simply multiply it by five. And so when I was going through the math, that's what I, what, that's what I did with the with the insurance side bet. So when I was, let me show you this. So if I were to roll a one, 91% would go to the dice and it would be cut in half. But I thought that this wasn't actually six. I thought that this was, um, I thought that this was five. And so I was incorrectly calculating that. It turns out that it's actually, that you should actually be using six here uh, and that's because the insurance premium is not consumed when you roll a one. Now, I don't understand insurance, so that's probably why I didn't understand that. But that was, in essence, the big mistake that I was making. So if we go through the math quickly, it's, it's very sim similar to what I was doing last time. If you roll a one, then your expected arithmetic return would be 0 0.995 for every roll you make, um, not uh, zero point something else. Um, if you roll a two, three, four, or a five, then your expected return would be 0 0.9555. And if you roll a six, then your expected return would be 1.365. So now that you have those six outcomes, um, you can then go on to calculate your geometric average. I, Andrew suggested using the, the long form equation, the Bernoulli expected value equation, but I didn't quite um, fully understand why that would be preferable. I guess it's more intuitive, but to me, this seems simpler to just simply write out the geometric average. There's fewer exponents and logs and lins, and it goes into my calculator easier. So. Um, if you just take the geometric average of all six of the dice faces, then what you get is 1.02 for your geometric average or 102% um, uh, growth. And the, the full number is actually 1.0208, which is equal to 2.1% growth. And where have we seen that before? If you go to the book and you look at the geometric average of the rolls, you get... 2.1%, which is exactly what we found. So a big thank you once again to Andrew Grant. I will be back very soon with a video on Python because I messed up there as well. And thank goodness for the internet and wonderful strangers on there who are willing to spend time to share and critique um, errors. So thanks for watching. Thanks to Andrew and we'll see you soon.